assalamu alaikum today in this video we'll talk about how you can um, hide and show elements or any sections or container based on um, query parameter in Elementor so first of all what we have to do is uh, let's say uh, what we want to do first so this is our web uh, website URL like so um, there is a query parameter this is section is equals dashboard when you click dashboard and then if you click codex request then we get go to codex request so our query parameter is section so first what we want to do is that uh, we want to hide this one whenever we are on dashboard and we want to uh, show this one whenever we are on dashboard so in in the dashboard first we want to hide this but we want to keep this but in the other pages uh, we want to uh, keep this one the first element but or uh, we want to hide this container first of all let's uh, go with this one so for this let's um, uh, hide this one so for this let's go to uh, the advanced tabs and then go to class css or you can use id so what we have to do go to um, class css and click on the dynamic tags and then select get and then your this is your parameter name so in this case our parameter name is section so i'm putting this one section here and then go to advanced so now for this one um, let's think about the conditions or let's think about the result what we want to achieve if section is equals to dashboard so for this uh, this what is this so this is uh, just a class name this is just a class name and uh, we will add some CSS based on on this class name but remember whenever we are adding this class name it can be anything it can be anything it can be a pizza or something so for now I'm uh, going with this one hide on dashboard and then uh, remember to give a space after you write the class name this is important uh, and then uh, fallback it can be class name with or without an uh, space so if we are here then we need to um, add some CSS so let's go let's add the CSS uh, not only in this part because this might be hidden so uh, we want to add the CSS for entire page so let's go to pay, uh, settings and then advanced and custom CSS so we added uh, hide on dashboard if we add the first one hide on dashboard and then what we want to do we want to hide this part when we are on dashboard but show on other parts so it will add act like an um, normal and ordinary css class but this one this parameter since we are passing this parameter through this um, one let me show you through this class CSS or if you want to uh, use ID you can use ID since we are using the class CSS so this parameter will be added like a uh, class okay when um, whenever the page is loading so we are telling here if uh, there is a there is a class name which is hide on dashboard and alongside this if we have this dashboard class so just display none okay important is optional you can do it or um, or not it's optional but uh, this is important then again if we just update it so see we are on dashboard this section is gone but whenever we are on other parts this will dynamically change so uh, if we just go to edit profile this is our dynamic 
part that was um, like this in the dashboard but it, it changed whenever we are going to edit profile page okay so this is working again we want to we want to show this part on the dashboard but we want to hide this one the whole part um, in the other uh, pages or other sections so to do this let's go ahead and just uh, like the previous one i am selecting the whole container of this part and just going to the class then find request parameter like this request parameter here and then uh, choose get and then since we are using section as query so section and then i have put this um, extra css class for this one so show only on dashboard so i want to show it only on dashboard and again uh, just keep in mind uh, that you have to put a space um, after the class name this is important so after that just go to CSS and then show only on dashboard so put this one display none this is just this is just a name okay so I want to show it whenever it is on dashboard so whenever this section is present and it is on dashboard then we will only uh, display it so i am doing display block but if it is not it is present but not in dashboard so we will not uh, display it so i have put uh, display none so let's see if this works so let's say we are in dashboard so this is showing and the upper part is gone and again if you go to edit profile you see the below part is uh, invisible and it's uh, gone but the upper portion is here that we actually want so that's for now bye bye